My name is Adrienne Camo and I am a fishing guide at Skeenis Bay Riverside Wilderness and Lodge. We are located on the banks of the Skeena River and we specialize in spay fishing for Chinook salmon and steelhead. Hi, I'm Steve McPhail. I'm the owner operator of Nass River Steelhead Company based out of Terrace, British Columbia. We target everything from Chinook on the fly to steelhead on the fly. We operate spring, summer and fall every season and uh, this is one of the rivers that we like to fish. The Skeena River is the second longest river in British Columbia. It has a huge number of tributaries that receive large numbers of all five species of Pacific salmon, as well as summer and winter steelhead. The Chinook salmon in the Skeena are known for being some of the largest in the world. The reason why the Chinook are so sought after these days on the fly is because it's one of the largest game fish that you can actually catch on a fly rod. It can be quite intimidating to head out on the Skeena hoping that you'll put your fly in front of what could potentially be the largest salmon of your life. Expect to hook one from anywhere from 10 pounds being a small one right up to 50, 60 pounds. The largest one on record in the Skeena watershed that has been caught for Chinooks is 98.5 pounds. One of the best parts about targeting Chinook is that they like to show themselves. So they will uh, quite often roll uh, when they're moving through or when they're hanging out in a run. And the visual aspect of, of knowing that there are fish there um, makes a world of difference for, their, for confidence levels. Chinook sit in deeper, faster water than steelhead do. Typically like heavier currents, big seams, tankier pools, and that means that we have to adjust our gear accordingly. The big flies that we fish for Chinook are not that different from the big flies that we fish for steelhead. The water is quite often off color, so having a bigger fly that has a bigger profile and, and really stands out, whether that be a bright orange fly in really colored water or a dark fly that puts out a good silhouette, uh, but something that, that the fish can see and react to is really important. Having your tackle rigged up properly is key when fishing for Chinook. These are really big fish, they're really powerful, they take huge runs, and these fish will take you in your backing on a regular basis, so having your backing wound on really, really tight is super important so that it doesn't dig in on itself when the fish is taking a blindingly fast run downstream. Good knot connections between your backing and your shooting line, also very important. Small profile knots that'll go through your guides easy are very important as well. Uh, 
I was fortunate enough to find a fish the other day in a spot where I was sort of at my limit as far as the depth I could wait at given the speed of the current and it put me just just far enough away from the trees that I could make some decent casts. You know, the fish don't care what your cast looks like. If you can get your fly out there and get it down, that's all that matters. It doesn't have to be pretty. Getting into what I considered to be the, the juiciest spot of the run and let it sink for a minute and it tightened up and came across in a fairly fast swing. And, and just after it, my line tightened up into that swing, I felt, I felt the line stop and my line tightened up as it continued to swing in the current and I knew it was a fish and I set the hook and then the fish took off. Trying to hold on to the rod even sometimes is, is a bit of a challenge. They can go on, on screaming runs way, way, way into your backing without pausing for a second. Um, you know, the first two seconds of the fight, you can be 100 yards into your backing. It's, it's, it's just amazing. So having a reel with a really good drag um, is probably the most, most important thing. And knowing that that initial run is not something that you're not going to be able to put the brakes on these fish. You want your drag turned up tight, so they're working hard to go on that run, but you're not going to be able to stop them. The initial part of the fight is more just hanging on and, and hoping to God that the hook doesn't straighten or that your tippet doesn't snap or any number of a million things that could go wrong. But at no point are you in any control during, during the first part of the fight. In British Columbia, helicopters are a great tool for the angler that likes to explore. There is a lot of rivers that have good logging road access on them, but there is plenty more that have no road access whatsoever. And the helicopter is a great tool to enable you to get into those areas that you know have never really truly been explored. <laughs>
Very good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. When you are lucky enough to hook into a very large Chinook, it's, you know, generally, um, unless you're in very good shape, you're going to be tuckered out a lot quicker than you're going to be able to tucker that fish out. Your reel usually explodes as the fish, you know, barrels downstream. And then when you do go to add pressure on your rod, you know, you feel like you're, you're either going to break your rod or you're going to break the fish off um, just because of their sheer size. And then, of course, they're going to use the current to their advantage as well. Steelhead are one of the most sought-after fish in this province, but by far the, the Chinook pull a lot harder.